Okay, in order to enable Wi-Fi Direct, I'm going to show you how to at least do it on a Moto X and a Nexus 7. And this should focus at some point in time. There we go. Bring down the notification bar. Click right here. Click on Wi-Fi. It should say Wi-Fi off. Now, I think that this may just be on the Republic wireless version. I'm not sure about the other version because I don't have the other Moto X. And then at the top, it says off. Click off to turn Wi-Fi on. I forgot my network, so I'm not using Wi-Fi to transfer or anything. You go to where you see those three um, vertical squares. You click that. Click Wi-Fi Direct. And you have to make it visible. The other device, then it'll say select or create folder, create new group, I mean. And I just press OK because it pretty much already made a folder. And you do the other thing, you do the same thing pretty much on the other device, which I've already brought it up, but let me go to the beginning so you can see. Bring down the notification bar, go to Wi-Fi off, and go to click where it says off to turn it on. And it will turn it on, and here the vertical squares are at the top, and I'm thinking it just may be a feature of this is Android 4.4 KitKat on my Nexus 7. My um, Moto X for Republic Wireless is 4.2. So I guess up in these versions, this is how like the notification bar looks and stuff. So pretty much, I guess a lot of people will still see the notification bar in the settings just like that too. So, and I went to Wi-Fi Direct here and... Here, you search for a device right here. If you don't see the name of your device under peer devices, go to the bottom and it'll say search for devices because when I did it earlier, it was not there. And then you click the name of your device and it'll connect it. And that's how you enable Wi Fi Direct. X. Hopefully this thing starts to focus at some point in time. There we go. And brightness is light. I just turned it down some. I don't know why. I guess it's too much. Okay, there you go. And you download Super Beam from the Google Play Store, which is right here. You click on it to bring up this screen. And you see it has options to send files and folders, audio and music, photos and videos. In order to send files via SuperBeam, you need to have it enabled on both of the devices you want to beam stuff to. So I also have it on my Nexus 7 tablet. So what you do is it has categories of the different types of files that you want to send. So I'm going to send a video, for instance. I'll go to a video, and I sent one just a second ago, a big one. I'm sending this other big one. This is a video. So you go to the video, you check it, and you press this top button right here, that arrow. Because you see the file is 31.3 megabytes. You send it. It's enabling. <clears throat> Wi-Fi Direct, and it's going to bring up this QR code. In order to make this QR code bigger, which you will need for the Nexus 7, you have to tap it again. I actually had already enabled it. That's one thing I can't stand about apps. Like Once you already use the feature, it saves it and uses it again. So when I try to explain it on video, you really get confused, I guess some people do, because it's, like it's already enabled, so I have to go back. So you click it again in order to make it bigger. So on the device that you want to receive the file from, waiting for this to focus, you go to receive and you go to scan QR code. It, it'll ask you that every time, but I'll scan over the QR code. And now it's downloading the file. Once it's done downloading, 
You can put on your notification bar and it'll say super being completed. And you tap, could have sworn I tapped. And then it'll tell you the name of the file and you can click it to select it. And then it'll bring up some options depending on what kind of file it is of different apps that you can use to open it. I use Double Twist for like pretty much everything, videos and music. And then you press just once or always. If you press always, this app is going to become the default app for this kind of file. If you press just once, it's going to just use it for just, just one time. And then it'll pop up and play. And that's pretty much how you send files wirelessly using Wi-Fi Direct.